Hello everyone, welcome back to Fox Learn. In today's video, I'll show you how to deploy an ASP.NET Core web application on IIS step-by-step. -step. For this demo, I'll be using the project from my previous video titled, Build a CRUD app with ASP.NET Core MVC. If you haven't seen that video, you can check it out on my channel. Let's start by installing IIS. You can do this from the Windows Features dialog by enabling the Internet Information Services checkbox. Once installed, open IIS Manager to verify it's working. Next, you need to install the .NET Core runtime for .NET 9. This allows your server to run ASP.NET Core applications. You can download the runtime from the official .NET website. Now let's publish the ASP.NET Core project. Right-click the project in Visual Studio, select Publish, and choose Folder as the target. Once the publishing is complete, copy the entire output folder into the C drive, or any location you prefer. Don't forget to set the folder permissions. Just right-click the Publish folder, go to Properties, to Security, and make sure it has Read and Execute Access. In IIS Manager, right-click on Sites, then choose Add Website. Enter a site name and set the physical path to the folder where you copied the published app. Assign a port number if needed, then click OK to create the site. When I tried to run the site in the browser, I got an internal server error. In most cases, this happens because the .NET Core hosting bundle hasn't been installed yet. So I downloaded and installed the .NET Core hosting bundle for .NET 9. After restarting the server, the website started working. Oh, when I clicked the student link in the menu, I got another error. To debug, I enabled use developer exception page in the program.cs file to see the detailed exception.
the error message revealed that there was a problem with the database connection string. Specifically, it was trying to use Windows authentication, but the server didn't have the right user context. You need to update the connection string by adding integrated security equals false. This tells the app to connect using SQL Server credentials, not Windows authentication. After updating the connection string, I republished the website, copied the publish folder to replace the one in the C drive, then restarted the site in IIS. Now, everything is working perfectly. I hope this video helped you learn how to deploy an ASP.NET Core web app on IIS. If you found it useful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss future tutorials. Thanks for watching FoxLearn, and see you in the next video.